Hey guys, back again with another replay analysis. This time we are with Tyler partied up in the Diamond Ranks. Um, really close game. Um, not a whole lot to work on, but definitely some like positional things and decision making things to work on. So we'll just get right into it here. Uh, this is a super weird kickoff. Um, look like he's like, look at the angle he's hitting the ball. Um, or you're hitting the ball, Tyler, like, you should be hitting the ball squarely, and I think you may have just, like, you know, messed this kickoff up um, a bit, because your next kickoff looks great, so um, just mentioning it, you know, hit the ball squarely in the center, um, not from the side, unless you're doing some kind of fancy uh, fast kickoff thing, but um, it doesn't look like that's what you were going for. Um, your your um, teammate is, like, a little... Um, you know, rushy. Like, I've seen him throughout the video just rush balls that he doesn't really need to rush for. Um, like, that is... I mean, he got faked out there, but it comes up elsewhere in the video. I like your patience here because your teammate whiffed and you know he's away. Um, this is your ball 100%. I don't know what your teammate is doing. Let's go back to 100. No. 100. No! Sorry. Which, uh... He does this throughout the game, too, of, like, driving, um, you know, across the field sideways like this. Like, this is weird and really hard to predict, like, you know, in terms of rotations. That was your ball, 100%. Just because you're not going light speed doesn't mean that you, you know, don't have it. This is your ball, 100%. He should be circling in behind you. Because with that hit, um, you know, he could have came in and brought that upfield. So you could have came out of the net to clear that further, which, you know, he kind of ends up doing anyways, but just weird rotationally. My bad, I'm gonna turn off steam real quick. I should have done that before the video started. Um, really weird shot by your teammate here too. Like, what is this? <laughs> It almost works too, which is insane. Uh, you didn't need to come in for that though. Like, I don't think there was an opportunity to score it here. Both of them in the net and it kind of coming out. But no worries, your teammate, uh, you know, recognizes that you went for it and went back pretty quick. Good pressure here. Um, you know, I'm glad that you didn't jump off the wall like too high here. Because, uh, you know, anytime you jump off the wall, like, you have to recover somehow. And you did jump off the wall eventually. Um, but, you know, maybe you were trying to wave dash off, which would have been great. Uh, but, you know, doing that and it takes valuable time. And in the diamond ranks or, you know, champion ranks, being able to recover quickly is super important. Not a great challenge by your teammate. Uh, let's go watch that again. Like, and I noticed this for you too, but picking, like, the right time to challenge um, is essential, man. Like, that is not a good time to challenge. Like, he should have been on it on first touch right there, you know, before he gets a chance to hit it again. So, like, I'm talking about, like, right when he chips the ball up. Right about here. But the thing is, is, like, there's multiple times that you could challenge. Like, you know, right there, he should have been dunking him if he's going to challenge. But trying to beat him when he has possession already is going to be really, really hard. So, um, you know, Richa could have been on him, like, right now. Or, you know, circled back to catch um, what looked like, you know, maybe the start of a air dribble attempt. Um... Yeah, and just, you know, kind of funky there too. Like you kind of half challenged, half went to net, like one or the other. You know, you could have been on that earlier or just hanging a net, because this is a super easy save if you were just in the goal box. Um, not the end of the world there though, but giving away goals is how you lose games. So just mentioning it, much better kickoff there. Great kickoff. teammate trying to bring it upfield, it didn't succeed. Uh, this is a little weird. Like, 
spread out and this kind of goes to like the field positioning um point but like your teammate is next to the wall like you don't need to be to the like next to the wall because you're like almost kind of serving the same purpose here you know you two together are kind of retreating with the like both you guys are on the wrong side of the ball um i mean to me you know at least for me i would have been going straight back to the net in the middle of the field here so that i could clear this back out um, it works out though that's a little air dribble attempt but really no like so as soon as you beat him here um you know with your boost going down like that um i mean you had 20 boosts left here and you like you had to have known the other teammate was going to be rotating back because uh, you know that's kind of what you would do anyways if you were on defense too right um there's really no reason to keep trying to push that if there's going to be a defender there so that's like you know boost management and he's a little further back too like you know he sees you so you know 14 boost could have meant that you could have kept that ball and maybe helped push it upfield to get a pass or something going but um you know just one of those things you know uh, making the right decision versus you know doing something cool <laughs> it's always something i kind of struggle with too it's all good otherwise a good you know result for you here Richard does a good job, um, you know, controlling the ball there. Risky jump. Like, there's really nothing you can do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I probably would have just hung back a bit to be able to push that back into their side. Because uh, both you guys committed and, you know, now they're on your side relatively easily. Good job there. Your teammate should have been backing you up a little better. He should have been mid. Like, why was he over there? <laughs> He's there he is driving across the field. Do you see that? Like, when you drive literally like perpendicular to the field like that, it's just a little weird, man. Like, he's on his boost almost this whole entire game, I swear. And he grabs this boost. It's just weird positioning. Like, he should have been mid, like, you know, midfield here to back you up. Because otherwise, why are you even bringing the ball up the field if your teammate's not going to back you up, right? Like, this is like just like a 1v2 there, and it's going to be hard to win those. With teammates ball chasing. Great clear. There he goes, you know, and it, it kind of makes sense that he turned, but he's just on the ball a lot. You don't have boost, but challenging is the right thing to do there. Good job by your teammate. Why? Like, this is clearly your ball, like... Or one of you guys need to figure out like your the other person's strategy because like I guess it could be either of yours, but I mean, let's look at his angle. I guess he can't really see you. Well, he can see you there, and he like continues to boost towards it like a little funky there. I think you had the better position, and you know I think he recognized that and later you know held off, but just strange. This is a little unfortunate. Um, the window for putting that in the goal, though, was really, really small. So, um, kind of a missed opportunity, but that's a tough shot. You almost got a clutch bump there, uh, which could have helped you get the ball in the net, but you didn't. But luckily, your teammate was there and shot the goal in, which is perfect. Easy shots, you know, easy goals. Nice job there. Boost. Nice. Good job. Good pressure there. Nice pass attempt. I don't know why he's, your teammate's not pushing on that. Oh, he backflipped. Okay. Yeah. 
That just seemed like a really juicy pass. And it could have been a goal, but you know, feels backlit, man. That's happens to all of us. Good positioning there. Nice fake. Nice pass. You didn't need to jump for that. Let's watch it from your teammate's angle. Yeah. I mean, you took yourself out of the play there, uh, but luckily your teammate recognized what was happening and stayed back. Just good. Your teammate, um, you know, had the ball here. I don't think you really needed to rush in on him. He should be challenging. Why is he driving across the field though? Like this, look at here. Look, he drives across the field this way and he goes back and then drives across the field this way. Why though? That's so hard to predict like rotation wise and it causes that to happen, you know, crashing into each other. It's just funky, man. That's silly. Don't, um, you know, drive perpendicular to the field like that, especially when your teammates, like, you know, aiming to clear the ball. And this is for your teammate, not for you. But if you notice it, like, tell him to stop. Like, he should. Oh my god, dude, it pisses me off to see that. He should be circling, right? Like, he should be in the net. Like, he should be in the net so that you can come back and challenge that at the corner. Oh, goodness. All right. So, yeah. Tell your buddy to stop doing that. Um, anyway, this clear, uh, you know, granted, you just got ran into, so, um, by your teammate. But really, like, clear away from your opponents when you can. Like, you had the right side of your car kind of lined up here. But, uh, you know, you kind of sent it over to Forky, which, you know, Forky gets the turn, beats your teammate to the ball, and the... You know, ball goes in the net, which is unfortunate. Your teammate's just racing around like a madman, though, so, you know, that's going to happen when you play with people who um, are ball chasing. Uh, I see a bit why you waited there. You could have challenged earlier, though, but you didn't know if he was going to, like, boom it off the wall or whatever, so I don't mind that play at all. I think you did a good job. Nice, your teammate came out. Uh, this, like, so let me take the bar away. You can see your teammate, like, you know, at, what is that, 7 o'clock? Yeah, kind of behind your car there to the left. And I think you, like, go to control this ball, which is good. You know, um, maintaining ball possession is really, really good. But, like, sometimes just booming it upfield is... A better option so like this is probably you know one of those times where just smashing that upfield would have been beneficial because your teammate like he goes for that challenge and he's literally pushing up field and you have an opponent behind you like booming that up and just even just hitting it off their back wall could have been a really good pass for your teammate here at least looking for it too look at that So just recognizing those opportunities, um, you know, I like that you go to control the ball though, you know, that's, that's good. Because just booming the ball every time is not, you know, not a good thing to do either. On this, it looked like you hesitated a bit. Like, it looks like you're in front of a Hmong star here, um, and you don't have any boost, but damn, like, it looks like you just kind of let it go, and he beats you to the ball because of that. A little unfortunate, but it worked out. Bring the bar back. So fake kickoffs. Um, usually, like at higher levels, you will not see the other team um, just hang out in net unless they're gonna do a fake kickoff. And sometimes I'll fake a fake kickoff, like. 
you know, we'll not be doing a fake kickoff, but I'll hang out in the net because people will think that's, you know, that's what you're doing. But like, if you see the other team, um, you know, leaving someone back like that, just kind of hanging in the net on a kickoff, there's a really good chance that they're going to be doing fake kickoff. And when you spot that, like, you know, during the kickoff period, like you want to not just give the ball straight to the guy in the back because what he's going to do is just basically like you know he should be chipping it up or keeping possession somehow but what i like to do like on these when i see the guy just kind of hanging back i'll take my kick off and i'll hit the ball like let me see can i do this i'm still in use let's go none like i'll still hit the ball in the center but like i'll kind of hit it like you know bam like that way you know trying to send it either like that way or like this way and most of the time like because i'm sending the ball you know into the corner i can snag the boost in the corner also and it makes like it makes it a little harder for the um you know the opponent to to do what they're looking to do which is to boom the ball upfield and then have porky like fly off the wall or catch an aerial and smash the ball into the net so um, just something to watch out for it didn't work out you know for them but spotting that fake kickoff is um, you know a good skill to learn i'm not sure why you're driving on the wall here you know next to the wall um and this is like you know both you know i think you and your teammate could benefit from it but um, when you're coming back from offense, like try to make it clear to your teammate what you're doing. Um, and driving by the wall is not always clear. You know, maybe you guys are on voice comms and you're like, I'm just going to grab the boost and go back. And, you know, he knows to come in. But especially like if you're solo queuing, um, you know, when you're driving back to the net, it's important that your teammate knows, you know, what you're doing. And if you're on the wrong side of the ball, it's, it can be unclear, you know. Just something to keep in mind. I like to drive back in the center if I can, if I have boost. But it worked out here. We we're just trying to set up a pass. It didn't really work out, but you there. Nice pressure. So this, like, again, like, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, from your angle, like, and even though this guy has no boost, and he should, you know, kind of be... <laughs> If he has no boost, he should just hang uh, in net, in my opinion. But, like, with you kind of trampling across the field like that, it looks like, you know, maybe you have a, a sight on the ball. Like, maybe you have something planned. So as a defender, like, you know, it's not clear whether you're just going for boost or whether you're going to make a play on the ball. It's just something to think about. Nice job. Really nice wall clear, man. Like, that was, like your wall play is really good. Beautiful. I think I remember playing with you in scrims, too. Like, you're you're really good in the air. I think you beat me to the ball several times. I like the challenge. You're there to back them up. Oof. What does Rich uh, do after this? He should, you know, kind of be going back to the net away from the action, unless he's trying to bump the guy, but I, I guarantee it he's going for boost. He's going for boost and leaving the net open, which is a bit risky because you just died. Backflip again. Nice job by your teammate. Weird challenge. Pre-jumping, man. Be careful. I do it sometimes too, just, you know, be careful about pre-jumping. Challenging to the side like that too, um, you know, from your teammate, like hitting the ball, you know, at an angle like that is really risky, especially on your side of the field, because it, you know, there's a good chance it ends up bouncing off the wall and becoming a pass. Man, your teammate nails you because he's driving across the field again. Dude, like, stop that. Look at him just drive across the field. 
perpendicular and just ram you out of the net, dude. Oh god. That was a little funky of a challenge. Like, the timing is just strange. Like, you're kind of, like, ever since the kickoff, like, you give up on it, which is fine. You know, you grab boost, but be on that. Like, be on it, be on it, be on it. Before he, like, gain, like you know, gets really good control of it, you should be on him. Especially because his teammate's pushing, and your teammate is, like, you know, coming back to the net. Like, you can get on that a little sooner. But... No worries. Nice job by your teammate. Yeah. You could have been on that a little sooner. I mean, just touching it awkwardly so, um, you know, a monk star couldn't get it. Because that's kind of what he does, is just, you know, doink. It's all good, though. Risha was there. Nice patience by you. Great save. I love how you put that in the corner too and not straight, you know, in front of your net. This may have been one of those times to just boom it to, you know, get it over him. Like you see him jump off the wall, like hit it right. You know, hit it right. But it works out. Rich is there. Really try to get a like a you know cherry picker pass to you, but it was on the ground. <laughs> so like in these, you know, if you want the ball to go high, just boost and just chip it. Like he didn't even need to flip into it. He could have just chipped the ball, like just run straight into the ball and sent that into the air so that you could fly for it. But um, really good job, like improvising there by you. This is a risky, like, pre-jump. Um, you know, you you see Rich just set up the pass, but Forky's on the wall, and, you know, he's obviously headed towards that. And you have an opponent to your left, among stars to your left. So even if Forky doesn't get this ball, there's a really good chance that among stars is going to get the turn and swap that out of the net. So just a, a bit of a risky pre-jump here, um, which unfortunately cost you guys the game, which stinks, man, that sucks, but, you know, taking risks in twos, um, you know, it's something that you have to do, and, you know, it's unfortunate that you lost this, but taking risks in twos can lead to goals also, so, damn, that sucks. Yeah. I mean, especially in overtime when just a goal can make the difference between a win and a loss. Um, you know, that stinks. Um, so, yeah, dude, I think uh, just field positioning and, like, honestly, your teammate uh, ball chasing and driving perpendicular to the field, like, several times is just silly, man. Like, in Diamond and, like, Low Champ and. You know, I know a lot of people that ball chase, and somehow it works, but damn, man, like, it just really opens up holes in your game for, um, you know, more patient and, uh, you know, field-aware opponents, which, you know, kind of is what happens um, with you guys. It just seems to be, like, capitalizing on positioning, so work on that and your decision-making, picking, like, those times to challenge, um, it's really essential. I think that's super important and can improve your game a whole lot. Um, I think, like, you know, clearing the ball on defense away from your opponent could help you too. You know, there's that one time where you sent it to them, but you got rammed right before it. So, um, you know, it may not always be like that for you, but sending the ball away from the opponents on, um, you know, when you're on defense is always going to be good. You know, spotting that fake kickoff and think just, you know, um, field awareness is going to help you a lot, man. Um, not just watching your car or your teammate, but also your opponents and their positioning and what's going on, uh, I think will help you a whole lot. Um, 
So yeah, man, I hope that helps. Uh, sorry this was so late to get to you. We had some confusion on staff, and um, but we got it sorted, and I hope this is helpful. If you have any other questions, let me know. Happy to go through those with you or any points of this video uh, with you um, in Discord. So um, yeah, I hope that helps. I'll see you around. Later.